Now watch closely. The first rat gang stays more or less within these limits, understand? <laughs> now look at this. The territorial limits of the second rat gang are generally beyond this line. Everyone understand what I mean? Yes? Mm. Huh? Where's their weakest point? Mm. Yeah. Uh, huh? Mm. Huh? So now you know, okay? Will you come with us? Oh, no, no, no. Out of my jurisdiction. What do you mean by that? I have my territory, and I can't go beyond it. This is a much larger area we're talking about, see? Jetsper, are you trying to tell us that winter is outside your jurisdiction? Well, I do know that there's a group of stray dogs about a mile past this fork. But to get there, you'd have to go through rat territory again. Ah, oh, that way I could do an encore for my adoring public. Do not leave me last when other pity griefs have done their spite. But in the arms it comes, so shall I taste it first? The very worst of fortune's might. <laughs> Yes, that's definitely the way we should go. That's <laughs> the dumbest thing I ever heard. What we're trying to do is find Winner, not arrange a concert tour for a performing pigeon. <gasps> really? Yeah, really. The other way sounds a lot more likely. Sure, and if it doesn't work, we can try your way. Soulless, infamous Philistines, denigrators of oh, art, monstrous <laughs> boobies. <laughs> Now cut that out! You may be a great artist, but you're giving me a headache. We didn't mean to hurt her feelings. But finding winners more important. Come on! If you go all screeching and wailing like that, you're gonna hurt your voice, so don't. <laughs> Got it? You wouldn't want to ruin that irreplaceable treasure. There's an art lover here after all, thanks the Lord. I'm not only an art lover, I have the solution to each and every one of your problems. How can you solve our problems for us, Fox? <laughs> I know every single dog that lives down here, but it's a dangerous road to travel. Oh. What kind of dangerous things are there? We'll have to make our way through a large area peopled by very fierce animals. Believe me, it won't be easy. <sighs> Too dangerous! Makes no sense! Oh, there they are! The fierce beasts he was telling us about! <laughs> Hello, my name's Clive. And my name's Sydney. Oh. Uh -oh. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. I know you're going to help <laughs> us, aren't you? Of course. <laughs> Are you all right? I could give you a very special shot if you like. Shall I proceed? Thanks. Oh. No. I'll take a rain check. Uh, you're a canary, but I think you're just chicken. <laughs> Whatever he says, I think you're a great artist. Yeah, your sensitivity can distract a maze overwhelm. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> we better be going. We're doing nothing but wasting time. What about the dangerous animals? Is it just those alligators? We are going to be running into a lot of animals that are more dangerous than our friends over there. They look plenty dangerous to me. Wait a second! Do you know them? Yes, they're our friends. They helped us find our parents. They're on our side! <laughs> Pleased to meet you, I'm Clive. I'm Chi-Chi. Pleased to meet you. And these That's two are... That's fine. Hello. I'm Marmaduke, and he's Aloysius. What do you think, Fox? Can we trust them? Start off by never trusting no one and you won't be far wrong. You must be exaggerating. 
But now it's time for us to be going. All right, everyone, let's get ready. It's time to start. <laughs> What's the matter, Catsper? Are you sad because you can't come with us? We'll never forget how much you helped us. You knew that. Listen to me, Cat. It's time for us to say goodbye. I guess you'll go back to being a ghost and playing your music and giving the rats whatever trouble you can. It's a lonely life, I know. Goodbye, Catsper. We'll be seeing each other again, Catsper. I know it for sure. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, life. Goodbye, Catsper. Don't worry about us. I'll miss you. So will we. I will if you promise to come back and see me late. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, Simba. Yes. <laughs> Very well thought out indeed, my compliment, Simba. But is our friend willing to take on this dangerous task? <laughs> you shouldn't even need to ask. It's insulting. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you climbing up there, Snake? I'm going to show him that my niece is an amateur in the hypno-biz. <laughs> if I didn't know you better, I'd say you were jealous. This is no time to be playing games. Come down off Arbor right now. Come along, Snake. Whatever you say. <sighs> Crow, I want you and Arbor to be our reconnaissance team. You got it, Foss. I want to know about the tiger's movements, so stick close to him, but don't be caught spying. See that barrier there at the end of the channel? Well, it shuts us off from the outside world. A group of brave beavers built it, and many of them lost their lives in the effort to provide protection. Protection against the most dangerous and ferocious animals that ever lived on Earth. Human beings. Uh, are they all crazy, these human beings? Sure sounds like it, doesn't it? There are also terrible fishes in the water. Fish that are more terrible than a shark? What are they? Don't you know? Uh-uh. They're called piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> are piranhas really all that wicked, Clive? Well, they can polish off a big gator like me before you can say crocodile. <laughs> Our alligator friends aren't the only ones who will have to face them. Do you mean we'll all have to fight piranhas? Oh! If you want out of here, you have to get out through that canal. Now, just hold on. You didn't go through the piranhas to get here, did you? Mm -mm. I'll take the outside route. Well, why can't we all do that too, huh? You can. If you want to wind up beyond bars in a zoo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never, never, never! <laughs> no bars ever again! Don't worry about it. That was only the blackest of your options. Oh, no, let's not go overboard. Overboard? I'm just facing up to facts, that's all. Just a minute. I may have uh, an idea for you. Listen. What kind of dumb remark is he going to make now? I think he's very smart. <laughs> the only logical thing we can do is take the fish and make them harmless. 
Here comes our trusty scout now. Back with my reconnaissance report, sire. All right, Crow, let's hear it. I saw the tiger, a hyena, and a rhesus in the northeast clearing. I know all about that wretched rhesus monkey. He's nothing but a spy. I'm sorry to hear you say that, if it's true. Oh, that means the tiger must know all the details of our plan. Then it looks like we're really in a pickle. Yes, then they're probably preparing countermeasures, sire. Hmm. Hold on, there's news coming in. Just a second. What can you tell us, Arbor? Tiger and his thugs will be holding a meeting by the lake tomorrow. Are you sure? Yes. I knew it. We should have posted sentries. That spy did us in. Well, there's no sense in crying over spilt milk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That'll fit in fine with our plan. <laughs> huh? Is my going crazy? Either that or the rest of us have. Yes, we can make good use of their meeting. You mean to attack them while they're all gathered? Their meeting place is sure to be heavily guarded, Simba. It's a good place, but not for his meeting. It's a good place for us to set a trap. One he's sure to fall into. Well? Uh... <laughs> I knew we could count on Simba. All right, get going. What is this trap, and how do we set it? Action, not words. Well, that's how I see it. What do you guys think? I think it has a very good chance of working. I agree. That's how we can take care of the fish. Well, that's settled then, right? Right. Good. Ah! Don't jerk like that, you jerk! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that terrible <coughs> stink is so bad <coughs> for my voice! Sorry about that. <laughs> now, are we all agreed on Genius' oh, yeah. plan? Uh -huh. Sure. I hope it works. We're the ones in the water, after all. No, Al. We'll all be there with you. And we still have our rays we can count on. Can't wait to see them rays. So I think it's all going to work out. Overconfidence could cost you dearly, Junior. Confidence, not overconfidence. I'm sure everything will be fine. If you say so, Princess Fair, I can only agree with you. <laughs> Piranhas by the thousands, huh? Unpleasant. We'll be all right. I'm positive. Forward march!
chops and steaks and ribs and chickens, sausages, cutlets, and similar pickings fall from heaven's generous groove and make the piranhas so full they can't move. Everything's going according to plan. Look, they're leaving us alone, thank goodness. I sure hope nothing happens to cut off Fat Rat's supply of food. I think that Phantom Food is starting to lose its power. You'd better all hurry up, guys. Come on. Here we are, and the food hasn't given out yet! We've almost made it, genius! Puddings and tackles and short ribs and peanuts. All will be done in a matter of minutes. Egg rolls and blintzes and sushi and pasta. Little piranhas, you've now met your master. All of us are through, come on! Okay, that's our cue. Let's go! Time to start putting the barrier back. and knuddled and curry and waffles. Leave us, piranhas, your evils and offals. the barrier. Isn't that real food? Nope, all fake. It was made out of the barrier itself, get it? Ah. Chitterlings and sponge cake and veal roast and knishes. Get rid of piranhas, depraved, mean and vicious. Cocaine and gnocchi and strudel and couscous. You'll never have 26 columns in who's who's.
Arms, His Majesty! 